Cheryl Preheim and Jennifer Bellamy in the 11 Alive newsroom. You heard the jury just being polled in the Tiffany Moss murder trial. The jury came back with a decision to sentence Tiffany Moss to death for the murder of her stepdaughter, Amani Moss. Amani Moss was 10 years old when her stepmother is now convicted of starving her to death. She now becomes the only woman currently on Georgia's death row. Yeah, and the third only that would ever have been put to death. This is a case that many people have been following, and a lot of folks were wondering if the amount of time that the jury took uh, would have any sort of impact on what we were actually going to see because there you remember there were the three options that the mm -hmm. jurors had. They could have sentenced her to death as they did today. They could have sentenced her to life in prison with parole and life in prison without parole. And I think it's interesting when we kind of look back to what we saw yesterday in those statements from the district attorney, Danny Porter. Yeah. He kind of tried to say, Amani's father is already in jail without parole. Mm -hmm. She deserves more was essentially the message that he was giving yeah. to jurors, and it seems as if that likely resonated with them. He made the argument that her father was a murderer because mm -hmm. he did not step in to help his daughter, but he made the case, Danny Porter, the DA, saying that this is a woman who every day made a conscious decision to withhold food and have that neglect and abuse to intentionally cause the death of her stepdaughter. It is very interesting that yesterday, after just under two hours of deliberation, the jury sent a note to the judge that they were at an impasse, that they could not reach a conclusion. So about 5.30 yesterday evening, the judge let the jurors go for the day, saying, come back this morning and we'll try it again. Something happened between those hours of 5.30 last night and this morning that all of the jurors were able to come onto the same page and make a unanimous decision that they decided that Tiffany Moss should be sentenced to death for her crime against her stepdaughter, Amani. Yeah, and all of this again, was going on with T uh, with Tiffany and Imani as the the rest of the household kind of moved on right. as normal. The other children, two other children in that household, did not receive the same treatment that we saw with Imani. Also, we know that there's a, a case with defects. The family working to get her out of this situation. That grandmother fighting for her, and so there's been a lot of uh, yeah. issues in, in terms of that side of the the case as well. Robin Moss is her grandmother who felt like there were some very very scary things going on in the house and fought for many, many years to try to get Amani out of the house, calling DFACS, asking them to intervene. DFACS closed the case on Amani Moss about three or four months before her death. Robin Moss, the grandmother, is now in a lawsuit against DFACS for what she calls neglect, saying that they could have prevented this death. So that part of justice for Amani is ongoing, but today we see the end of a chapter in the criminal proceeding against Tiffany Moss. The DA said this was a Cinderella story gone terribly wrong, calling this stepmother evil, saying that she was protecting her own biological, her own bottle. I'm sorry, we're just getting word that the execution date has now been set for June between the 15th and the 17th, I believe is the date. I'm sorry, and 14th. I heard that wrong, 7th and the 14th. So the execution date for Tiffany Moss now set from June 7th to 14th in that window. We already know there will be appeals. We know there will be yes. many appeals in this case, and we've heard our, um, uh, our legal analyst, Latonio Hines, a prosecutor for Cobb County, say many times that just the fact that Tiffany Moss chose to represent herself and, and virtually had no defense mm -hmm. in this case would be an automatic review. There will automatically be review in any death penalty case, but the fact that she represented herself and there was no defense in this case really uh, adds a lot of complication to the of appeal process. Yeah. And, and there will no doubt be an appeal. But as of now, the execution date set for June 7th to the 14th. But just to finish that point about um, Tiffany Moss and her own daughter, she had two biological children in the house that Danny Porter, the DA, said were healthy and happy mm -hmm. and were treated in every way a child should be treated. All the while, Amani Moss was in a back bedroom and she was dying day to day.